Ever wondered why some women can't stop thinking about a guy long after he's out of the picture? Maybe something like this has happened to you. You've got the looks, the charm, and the moves, but somehow, the connection fades faster than a one-hit wonder. It's like you're a sparkler on the 4th of July. Brilliant for a moment, then gone in a few seconds. But what if I told you there's a way to plant a seed so deep in her mind that even years later, she can't shake the thought of you no matter how hard she tries? What if I show you how to control a woman's mind in just four simple steps? Sounds like magic, but it's not. It's brain science, and we call it emotional anchoring. And it's a mind control staple right out of Shogun Method's playbook. Picture this. You're out with a woman and things are going great. You've got her laughing, she's hanging on your every word, and by the end of the night, you're sure you've left a lasting impression. But then, a week later, she's ghosting you. No calls, no texts, fucking nothing. You're left wondering what the hell happened. It's frustrating, I know. I've been there. And I know the pain of watching what seemed like a sure thing slip through your fingers. Now, here's the problem. Most guys don't know how to create a deep emotional impact that sticks. They focus on the surface stuff like looks, humor, confidence, but they miss the mark completely when it comes to embedding something deeper. They think the initial attraction is enough, but it's not. The truth is that attraction alone doesn't create lasting connections. And without that deeper connection, she moves on, and you're left in the dust. That's where Shogun Method comes in. Understand that it's not just about attraction, it's about creating unbreakable bonds. And it's all in the art of mind control. You're going to learn a technique that can plant emotional seeds so deep, she'll think about you when she hears a certain song, smells a certain scent, or even just sees a guy who looks a bit like you. That is the awesome power of emotional anchors at play. And once you learn how to use them, you'll never have to worry about being forgotten again. You'll have the keys to her mind that give you the power to control and dictate her thoughts and emotions at will. So, what exactly are emotional anchors? Well, I want you to think of them as psychological triggers, specific memories, experiences, or feelings so deep that they pop up instantly whenever a related trigger occurs. It's like when you hear a song from your teenage years, and suddenly, you're back in your old bedroom, feeling all those angsty emotions again. Emotional anchors work the same way, but instead of taking her back to high school, they take her back to you. This is the psychological mastery that Shogun Method teaches. And like every technique in Shogun Method, the reason emotional anchors are so powerful is because they tap into the way our brains work. You see, our minds are wired to associate certain emotions with specific triggers. Psychologists call this classical conditioning, kind of like Pavlov's dog, but instead of salivating at the sound of a bell, She's getting butterflies whenever she thinks of you. These anchors dig deep into her emotional memory, creating a lasting bond that's hard to break. Let me give you a real-world example. Have you ever smelled a particular perfume and immediately thought of an ex-girlfriend? That's an emotional anchor at work in your brain. Or maybe there's a song that brings back memories of a wild night out with your buddies. These triggers are powerful because they're tied to emotions, and emotions completely drive a woman's behavior. When you create an emotional anchor in a woman's mind, you're not just leaving a temporary impression, you're embedding yourself in her emotional core. It's exactly what this technique equips you to do. You'll get inside her head and stay there. And that is how to control a woman's mind and make her think about you all the time. Okay, let's shift gears and get into the nitty gritty. The process of creating these deep emotional triggers we call anchor implantation. This isn't about just saying the right thing at the right time. It's about pressing the right emotional hot buttons that are unique to her. These hot buttons are the keys to her emotional vault. And once you find them, you can implant an anchor so deep that she won't be able to shake you off, no matter how hard she tries. In Shogun Method, I teach men how to go even deeper, showing exactly how to identify and press these hot buttons with deadly precision. I remember this one time, a Shogun brother told me how he used anchor implantation to make a woman fall so deeply in love that she couldn't stop thinking about him, even after they broke up. His favorite band was Pearl Jam, and whenever she heard the song Alive on the radio, and instantly feel that familiar pang in her chest. But here's the kicker. He didn't just use any song or any scent. He knew exactly which hot buttons to press, and he did it with surgical precision. All right. Now that you know the power of emotional anchors, let's dive into the four steps to implant them in her mind turning you into her forever obsession. It's not rocket science, but it requires you to take a set of four steps and follow them in strict sequence. And here are those steps, 
one by one. Before you can start implanting anchors, you need to know where to hit. This brings us to the first step, identifying her emotional hot buttons, or EHBs, as we shoguns like to call them. To do this, pay close attention to what makes her tick. Identify her passions, fears, desires in detail. These are important because they are your entry points into her psyche. Now that you've got the map to her emotions, it's time to set up the perfect ambush. The next step is creating a trigger sequence that will hit her EHBs like a precision strike. Design a sequence of events or experiences that will trigger intense emotions by hitting her EHBs. This could be a shared experience, a certain phrase, or even a specific place. Or, for best results, you can even combine all three. The third step is the most crucial one. We're hitting to the heart of the process. Mess it up, and all your groundwork is for nothing. This is when, at the right moment, you deliver the emotional payload. We call this the money shot, my brother Shogun, because it's the moment that will etch you into her memory for good. To do this, deliver a heartfelt confession, a short, meaningful story, or even a perfectly timed compliment. It has got to be something that hits her right in the feels, given at the right time. For added effect, you may even subtly touch her in areas like her elbows, shoulders, her lower back or knees. And when you've done that, congratulations. Great, but don't pop the champagne just yet. To make sure this anchor sticks, you need to move on to the final, crucial step. Anchor reinforcement. This means revisiting the trigger from time to time, ensuring that the emotional connection remains strong. What you do here is to retell the story again to replant the trigger. And if you've also touched her the last time, touch her again in the same area. All right. Theory's cool, and all. But let's see this, in action. Imagine you've discovered her EHB is a deep passion for animals. Now we're going to turn that into an anchor she'll never shake. That's the first step. So, what you do is to take her to a rescue shelter on one of your dates. An experience that stirs her emotions. While you're there, you deliver the emotional payload by sharing a personal story about how you once rescued a stray dog and how it changed your life. When you do that, you subtly touch her palm. From now on, every time she thinks about you, she'll associate you with that deep, emotional experience. You're the guy she can't forget, no matter how much therapy she tries. And every time she sees a rescue animal, you'll pop into her mind, like a ghost she can't shake off. Not only that, whenever you see her, you touch her palm to reinforce the anchor, and she'll get tingly all over again. It's like a trigger for mind control that only you alone have. So, there you have it. The art and science of Shogun Method Emotional Anchors. Remember the story I mentioned earlier about the Shogun who mastered this technique? Let's wrap up that story right now. After carefully identifying her EHBs, he planted a series of emotional anchors from experiences that left her head over heels. But here's where it gets interesting. After they broke up, he disappeared from her life completely. Yet, Every time she heard their song, saw a certain flower, or even visited a particular cafe, she was flooded with memories of him. She just couldn't enjoy these things anymore without feeling that gut-wrenching longing for him. That's the power of emotional anchors put to work. But here's a word of caution. You must use this power wisely. You don't want to end up like the poor guy who accidentally anchored his ex to Baby Shark, because now she can't hear that damn song without tearing up. And that's a whole different kind of emotional baggage. So, remember what Uncle Ben says, with great fucking power comes great fucking responsibility. Or, as I would tell my students, don't be a dick. And that is how you embed deep-seated feelings in her mind using emotional anchors. Stop being a forgettable fling and start being a legend. Dive into Shogun Method and make sure she's haunted by your memory, whether or not she likes it. Trust me, once you master this powerful knowledge, you'll never have to worry about being forgotten again. Learn more by heading over to Fractionation.org and sign up for the free Mind Control Masterclass. You'll get the tools you need to become truly unforgettable in the mind of any woman, guaranteed. Fractionation.org